We see that people in the workplace, compared to years past, are working more, enjoying it less. We're seeing increases in divorce rates. There are lots of changes going on in terms of our politics, our environment and climate. We're seeing higher incidence of suicide, um, particularly among young people. We're seeing uh, more incidence of depression and anxiety. In 1950, of course, the city publishes his uh, magnum opus stress, which was highly publicized, controversial. We have learned that many diseases have no single specific causes, but are due largely to non-specific stress. Stress is at the root cause of many disorders, especially chronic illnesses. I'm talking about stress. How it can be behind so many of the illnesses and diseases that we're suffering from today. Thank you. We've been talking to Dr. Daniel Kirsch from the American Institute of Stress. The two classic examples of stress-related diseases most often cited are cardiovascular disease and cancer. Uh, but since stress is the nonspecific reaction of the body to any demand placed on it, it could, it could literally be, be anything. 60 to 90 percent of visits to doctors are related to stress. Please report to pharmacy, Dr. Marcus. Emergency room doctor told me that he, more than half of the visits to his emergency room are due to stress. It is a difficult world. So much more we are exposed to. Our brains have not anywhere near evolved to deal with what we're dealing with in everyday life now. It's only in the last five million years that we've trebled in brain size from Australopithecus to Homo habilis to Homo erectus to Homo sapiens. And we are continually being hijacked by that deep evolutionary biology and stress and the way we deal with stress. Early in my career, I'm driving down 4th Street in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I just felt like certain pieces of me were missing. This strange feeling of something's not quite right. I've seen backs that were so tight from, from, from stress and tension that they literally sheared off the spinous process, broke the vertebrae. In everyday life, it's not often that we get a full-blown fight-flight response. But all day long, we get threats to our sense of control, to spam calls, uncooperative uh, workers, or from family things, or from traffic. It's a, a very difficult um, challenge for the brain to adapt effectively to this entirely new environment that we are bombarded with and live within um, that is very different to the, you know, the flat savanna plain of Africa where we all seem to have originated from. So yes, it, is, it seems to be a very mismatched challenge at the moment. And so it requires a lot of insight, I think, to, to deal effectively with this new ecosystem.